Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below. All right, welcome back, YouTubers and Madden fans. This is Madden Money Shot sniffing out the Madden cheese as always. I got more out of my Saints single back tight slots. This is probably the most explosive uh, series of plays uh, out there right now. I think every one of these plays is just capable of massive, massive touchdowns. Uh, if you didn't see part one, I'll pop a little montage for that. Make sure you check that out. plays right there were just touchdown bombs the whole time no matter what I ran so make sure you check that out first other than that we'll go and we'll get into part two um, like I said this is all kind of a, a intro I'm not gonna do too much more of the Saints because I'm doing a full breakdown of the Saints I'll have a full breakdown video available on YouTube and I'll also have a full uh, ebook available on my patreon and my website whenever I get that up and running all that information will be in the description below you have a bench concept here and a bench switch concept here uh, but then you really only have them choices on one side, which I'm not a huge fan of. In the last play, I showed you how you have a bench switch essentially on one side. Uh, but I'm going to show you something else you can do out of this bench concept, which I really like. I'm going to go ahead and pick bench. I'm going to run a little bit different than uh, you would see normally. So I'm going to pick that and go nickel. So the cover two, or this uh, bench concept is typically really good against cover twos. Uh, but I'm going to show you a method to make it really good against cover threes. I'm going to motion over Sneed here. And now he's going to be a really good uh, deep center uh, passing option if it's cover two or cover three you can also put gin here on a slant and work them against one another which i think is really good and then gin also plays really well against thomas uh, but it kind of takes the bench switch away so it's really up to you if you like the bench switch which i'm not a huge fan i'd rather do my work over the middle i think this is a much better option um, if you're going to do the bench switch type uh, i would find it's best to um you know if you're going to keep uh 15 there uh, ted Ginn going outside then I think it'd be best on the other side to put Thomas on a smart routed out route. Um, and I just find that that works a little bit better against the triangle route to pull the safety if it's like a cover two safety. But uh, that's really two options. I'm going to move this ball here again to the sideline because most of my passing work is going to be done on one side. So let's just move that. Like I said, my personal preference would be to slant again. And I'll show you why. It'll definitely help to get uh, that deep guy op open over the middle. As you can see right here, see how that pulls coverage? And if Ginn was a little faster, he'd have been gone up that alley. Yeah, so what uh, what Ginn does is he's gonna pull down any linebacker coverage assignment. He's gonna pull that away. So that'll help me get that deep pass open a lot better. We're gonna lob it this time. Let's go. Big plays all day, baby. That's um, Kobe Fleener pooping on a cornerback there. So this is explosive passing. This is this is what the Saints playbook is all about. And you can see we got a big cover three seam hole right there. Just right up that seam. Yeah, since I'm motioning a guy pretty much every play, there's not going to be any tip to, to give away what you're doing. This is going to be consistently confusing. And we're floating that up again. It's too close to the sideline. It's all good though. Big play. Yeah, you can run plays like this all game. So simple and basic. Easy money. We're gonna go outside again. Is that Kukli? Is that Kukli, you son of a bitch? Is that Kukli? You ain't catching me, bro. You ain't catching me, bro. Like I said, I'll leave this bench switch concept out there for people that enjoy that, but I'm, I really think the best way to do it is the first one I'm showing. Um, but you can see, like, you know, this is a good quick hitter. It's gonna be just as hard to stop. Obviously, it's not as explosive. But I find for whatever reason, if you take that away, um, and do it the way I was showing you the first time Fleener gets open deep as it is anyway, so And if I run like this, I'm taking that short route every time. I'm just taking that quick hit every time just for safety So we're gonna do it, but we're gonna keep doing it this way because I, I do think this is the best way to go Oh, we got that circle route right up the center there nice big catch and run right away quick hit I don't really I wish I could have had um one more uh, big play up the middle there to triangle. I know it's there. 
and we got that single high and there it is we're gonna end the play on that <laughs> we're gonna end it on that one for sure moving on some really good cover two beaters i'm gonna show but i think the first one i'm gonna show is the deep post let's continue in the vein of these uh, explosive passing plays let's go and let's pick that and we'll go uh, random nickel so this play here i mean that fleener outside route is pretty good you can just put again on that bench switch concept again you just uh you know create it put again on a little out route and it'll have a similar appeal but uh, i'm not a huge fan of that i actually like motioning fleener over which if you saw the run plays in my last video was really uh, a big portion of that and then i also like putting sneed here on a slant and now you can see right away i have a little three uh level uh passing structure right there um, as far as pass blocking, the running back's okay with what he's doing, but I find you might need some pass protection here. Gin's a really good uh, man beater, a good check down. He comes open behind everything uh, because everybody's kind of pulling out. So here we got a, just a nice wide open. I mean, I'm not going to take this to the house, although I obviously probably could have, but let's keep this moving. So yeah, as far as this play goes, um, if you're, you know, the read structure is really front to back. You're just kind of reading... The first receiver, which is Sneed, if he's not open right away, it's going to be the X route, and then it's going to be the square route. You're just going from front to back. It's really simple. Um, I mean, the hardest part is, is remembering the X button is on this controller because I'm usually playing on Xbox. I do both. I play on Xbox and PlayStation, and the hardest thing is I constantly am hitting the wrong button when I see X because <laughs> it's a different setup. So let's go ahead and let's rock this. That X route is just, oof dirty you see how that drag almost pulled Worley down yeah the running back's fine i mean you can you can keep him there but I, I find that the pass protection is necessary so i don't think that he's the best way to go and there you see how the uh, how these things are just pulling covers both sides just parse the red sea for that tight end yeah if i wasn't under center i wouldn't think that that running back was as necessary but since i'm under center it's kind of important to have him uh, have him where he is now you can see how that linebacker pulls last second to fleener somebody's gonna be open every time i constantly have to remind myself where the x button is on this remote so annoying all right so let's do this this looks like a man so there's no limit of options against a man i don't know why people are so on man this year it's not really that great <laughs> Yeah, another, um, I didn't really show um, the Thomas route. That's like the latest breaking one. Uh, and that one, like I said, that'll be really consistent. I didn't even set it up right. But uh, the, you can see how Thomas is going to be open late. One of these guys in the middle is going to get open every time. That's the point. So let's go ahead and let's run this one more time. I want to show that route off a little bit. And there's a deep route. I had to get it in there nice, but there it is. It's going to be open every time. Like I said, somebody is open everywhere. All right, so next up, I got some two really good cover two reader plays. I'm going to show the halfback wheel. And then we'll go nickel. These plays are getting slightly less explosive as I go along, but uh, they're still really good to have in your arsenal. So this one here, motion over the circle route. Put them on a, a little, uh, what do they call that, a flat beater. And you're going to have one or two guys who sneed or circle is going to get open uh, pretty much every time. And there they took the short route. So I got the outside route. You can see, you know, we got a nice big play. Probably could have tried to go all the way, but it's whatever. So this one's good. You got a really nice check down coming across behind it uh, with Fleener. And uh, the running back, uh, Peterson, I just think that he's best to put on a block. I don't think, uh, you know, once again, I think I need that help. So here we go. We got Sneed again. He's just pooping. I don't know if that's a cover two man or a cover two zone, but nobody's around. Um, and you can really, you can motion over Fleener too if you like. Uh, you know, it's really a, your option. That's the thing about some of these plays. I just need somebody underneath doing this. And then you can see here that's a cover three. So Thomas is just deadly up a cover three. I, I call it a cover two, but it's a cover three. I mean, I call it a cover two beater. I mean, um, but it beats cover three as well. As you can see, he's just right up that seam, right where the cover three would be. And we're going to do it again. I don't think that was even a cover three. I think it was a cover. I don't even know what that was, but it still beat it. So it's a real simple read. All your read progression is on one side. So you don't have It's It's just real simple. You don't have to look anywhere else. You know right away if it's cover two, cover three, whatever, um, where it's going to go. And that was, I don't even know what that was, but I'm just seeing openings everywhere. It doesn't matter. 
Offense is so easy in this game. So let's go ahead and let's rock this once or twice more. There, we can take that little check down. If you got a speed guy there, like Gin, you know what I'm saying? Nice 10, 15. Yeah, if you're reading cover two, it's 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 uh, Gin versus Sneed. And if it's cover three, it's Thomas all day. Really easy read. All on one side. I'm saying Sneed's just beating up over here. Big plays. You know what I'm saying? You can't run man against stuff like this. This is just deadly. And Peterson, man, I, I wish I could get him in the line of scrimmage. If I could get Peterson in the line of scrimmage, that would really be a good play. But you can't. Um, it's not a bad check down, I guess. But it's not really the best way to go. So that, to me, is a waste of route. I wish I could do something with him. Uh, but I can't. So I'm going to go ahead and move on. Show you another very good play. 